don't start a clothing business instead what you should do is you should start a resale brand and here's why in this video i'm gonna break all that down for you i'm gonna even show you how you can get started but first my name is tony marlowe and i've been literally turning trash into multiple six figures for the last three and a half years getting ready to cross one million dollars in total revenue from my reselling efforts and i've done this while maintaining a minimal time investment of less than five to ten hours a week now if you want that to be you i recommend you listen to the rest of this video as i go over the different points on why i believe you should start a resale brand instead of a clothing brand in the beginning first when we're building out a brand it takes time right and so a lot of clothing owners they start with coming up with their brand they're very passionate about their product but they can't seem to sell it for a few reasons they don't have brand equity see nike has been around for 20 30 40 50 years louis vuitton has been around for 50 60 years all of these different brands that are very very popular have been around forever and so because you're starting your brand brand new you're not able to reap any goodwill outside of your personal connections and even on that you get what i call pity sales people that just support you because of it's you right other than actually loving the product that you've created loving the brand and what it stands for you don't have any of that on the flip side if we were to resell articles like nike louis vuitton chanel and we were to resell those kind of articles of clothing or accessories we were able to capitalize on their goodwill as well as deliver that to our community and allow them to win as well as make a reasonable amount of profit as long as we got the item for a reasonable price now this is my entire methodology is instead of starting that clothing business you start a resale brand first and let's break that down one you can build out an audience off the backs of these brands so let's just say you were selling vintage clothing you get to capitalize on all the different articles of clothing that are quote unquote vintage um, you get to capitalize on a lot of the trendier clothing that people already appreciate and they are already searching my cousin asked me the other day he said hey do you have any wrestling tees maybe i do now i know my cousin is willing to buy those tees because i'm solving a problem for him he's not able to find those wrestling tees at this current moment now he can come to me and he can buy those tees i can give them to him for a reasonable price and he wins he gets quality clothing that he's been looking for and i make a reasonable amount of profit from that sale on the flip side if i was just selling my own wrestling tees it wouldn't have that same appreciation because i have no brand and so as we're building up this resale brand we get to capitalize on other people's brands that people already know love and appreciate and i think that's a huge benefit in this day and age another reason for that is the resale market is absolutely exploding right now it's estimated to nearly double by 2027 and by 2028 one in every three purchases is going to be a secondhand purchase and so you get to capitalize on that growing trend as well well as the other trends within the reselling niche now personally as you're doing that you should be building out your own assets like your social media your instagram TikTok, facebook you should be building those up to have a following of people that already appreciate the products that you are able to curate and as you're selling those products and you're curating those products for your audience you're making a profit see when you're starting that clothing business it's hard to be profitable in the beginning if you listen to all the different clothing owners that started most of them say that first two three four batches of clothing they didn't make no money it takes them a little bit to get off the ground with that clothing business now long term if it sticks it is a great business model but if it doesn't stick they don't make much money at all on the flip side when you're reselling brands that people already know love and appreciate you're able to capitalize on that and make profit immediately now my very first time reselling other people's brands i made fourteen thousand dollars officially and seventeen thousand dollars unofficially and so essentially you have that opportunity to make profit quicker now what i would personally do with that profit is i would then take that profit and i would then pour it into my clothing business if i wanted to a prime example is the jacket i'm wearing right here is from cool kicks cool kicks resells sneakers now over time they built up their brand and been able to expand to multiple locations and now they have an opportunity because they have a brand to sell their own merch and that's exactly what they're doing now it doesn't have to be your reselling brands merch it could be other merch that you put into your store or your on your website you have that opportunity as you've built out that following another example would be my location i've been able to generate 40,000 plus followers on my instagram page and now we have an opportunity if we wanted to to capitalize on that audience and sell other products outside of our reselling niche a prime example would be a local community brand or we could sell a merch brand similar to how cool kicks has done it now those are all opportunities i've been able to get while maintaining a reasonable amount of profit right we all have bills we have to pay 
And a lot of times you're getting into business because you need to increase your income for whatever reason. Now, if you're just getting into this for straight passion and you don't care about profit, that's a completely different conversation. But even if that's the case for you to truly run this business uh, the correct way, there has to be more cash flow injected into the business so that you can truly see your true vision come true. Now, that's my recommendation. And I'm not here to, you know, talk bad about anybody's opportunity. I'm not here to talk bad about, you know, the clothing business whatsoever. I just think it's a smarter move. Instead of starting that clothing business, you start the resale brand first. Another point is you learn foundational skills. See, when you're starting your very first business, you don't know much about business, unfortunately. Personally, as me, my first business, I didn't make no more than $2,000. And that was maybe six months worth of effort. On the flip side, with my resale business, we've generated almost a million dollars and that's been since I've ever started. But it's because I learned the foundational skills of what it takes to run a business. You're able to learn the foundational skills of running a business by just being in business, right? It's like if you're riding a bike all the time, you get better at riding a bike. If you're swimming all the time, you get better at swimming. You become more efficient. You understand all the different ins and outs of the opportunity. And the same thing applies with business. If you're not able to stay in business because you don't have any money coming in, it makes it very hard to run a business long term. Now, some businesses are able to go out and raise money. And if that's an option for you, that's something you should maybe take a look at. But on the flip side, for those of you that don't have that option, I would highly recommend building out a resale brand, learning how to actually operate a business the correct way, actually making some money, and then diversifying that money into other opportunities that you see are more beneficial for you long term. And that's personally what I'm going to do. I haven't pulled the trigger on it just yet, but I would recommend you do the same thing. If you like this video, just give me a comment below and give me a like. And most importantly, give me a subscribe. Peace. Love you guys.